Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Frank back with another video, and this is Black Ops 3. And I'm sure you know that because of the title, but this is a game I just played. We are in theater mode right now, and I was playing in this map, Hunted, I believe that's what it's called. By the way, I just returned to Black Ops 3, and nothing really changed much. And this guy caught my eye in the session. Why? For starters, he got wraps, a GI unit, and a mothership in TDM. I'm like, holy shit. So, figured I would check and see what this guy has to offer. Let's see what he's using. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it. Oh god, dark matter. Oh man, the way he's playing, he's obviously a sweat. A true tryhard. Let's see. Holy crap! You see this, right? He barely even touching the ground. The slightest movement and he looks somewhere. Damn. Smack run that ass. <laughs> Look at that, even tryhards die in the dumbest ways. I feel for this guy, that is a dumb way to die. Getting shot around a corner, or going around a corner and then falling over dead, like a potato sack. It sucks. Getting all over the place, holding square or triangle to spin his nunchuck. Oh, let's see what he does right here. Oh, he missed. What's he gonna do? Oh, whack right in the face. I see. Oh, all that jumping couldn't save him from that. Well, at least he got one guy. Man, look at this guy. He just keeps uh, sliding and just spinning his nunchucks. For those that don't know, well, it says right there, Peacekeeper Mark II Auto. It doesn't say his attachments. I can tell that one, he has a ELO sight. Normal magazine. Judge by how fast he's aiming as quick draw. Oh, damn. These guys don't know what to do against him. Now, tryhards like this, I have a little bit of respect for because they move their hands super fast in order to do this. And look at the kill feed. There's yours truly, the Franklinator, me, getting the kill. Man, this guy's just steamrolling their spawn. You figure a player like this would use a suppressor. Then again, a suppressor does make your weapon weaker. So, yeah. I never understood how you could wall run all the way up there. Look at this, he's barely touching the ground. Oh, he, he's hit. Get fucked. <laughs> Holy shit. Get fucked, even though the last bullet didn't touch you. Get fucked. I'd like to see this guy play. Oh, get fucked. I would like to see this guy play in a mode where there isn't any super jumping. His strongest component then would be his ears. Oh. He's got a dingo. Must be at level 1000. I can't see the ranks, sadly. I'm level 300 something on here. For those that are wondering. By the way, if you just noticed the kill feed, if you rewind it, I just got smacked by a padded boxing glove one time and that killed me. GG, Black Ops. Look at this, he doesn't even need his peacekeeper, the beast. Ah, too slow. Oh, never mind. Oh, he, oh no, he got him in a headshot. There's his wraps. Is he gonna sit here and just let his raps do everything? Look at this guy, he just keeps jumping every couple seconds. <laughs> this is funny, this reminds me of every other player I've ever fought against in Black Ops 3. I keep forgetting he can sit there. Yeah, I figured as much, he's just sitting over here letting his raps do everything. It's smart, don't get me wrong, but damn, it's just like everyone else. I didn't do that great. Oh, here comes the GI unit. 
and he got a nuclear. I could tell because if we rewind it, right before he put that down, and look on the left side of the screen, you can see the nuclear player card. There's his G.I. Joe buddy right there. Oh, get it's fucked. Not. Even though the last bullet didn't touch. Oh, he got a mothership. So what was this guy? Oh, was he lying behind his rock? Tacom, deploy mothership. This guy's GI unit wrecking everyone on the ground. So if they go in a building, the GI unit will fuck him. They stay outside, he will fuck him with this. Get fucked. I was running around this game wondering, how the fuck does this guy get these streaks? And now I see how he's playing like a total sweat. I can definitely see it. Hey man, if you see my video, I'm talking about whoever I'm watching here. If you see my video, I ain't bad mouthing you or anything. But I'm just saying, you remind me of a lot of other players. But hell, it works. You see, if I was on the other team, I would have done shot this mothership down by now. Because I tend to carry anti aircraft stuff. It's just lucky that the dudes we were playing against were cavemen, and they wouldn't know how to deal with this. Way early warning, I mean early spoiler, this guy right here only dies twice. You see, GTA tryhards, this is how you be competitive. Blowing yourself up non-stop isn't competitive. What this guy's doing is competitive. Sure, it's annoying, but it's competitive. But at least it's this is how you be competitive. Unlike Grand Theft Auto, where you blow yourself up nonstop. And kill death ratio actually means something in this game, unlike GTA. And if I had a nickel for every time he jumped. Let's see. I'm gonna pause this. He got. 47 kills, 2 deaths, I got 16 kills, 8 deaths. Mainly for the fact that this dude was taking all the kills. But yeah. I was actually quite surprised to... Well, not really surprised, I should say. Well, I was surprised to see this guy got a mothership in TDM. Hell, even a... I forget what the thing was. GI unit, yeah. A GI unit. And then I come over here to theater mode to see what he was using and how he was playing and my surprise quickly went away when I was like, oh, he's playing like this, okay. Players like this hate shotguns. Just if you run into players like this who tend to jump high, stay in a building. That's all you have to do, stay in a building and use a shotgun. Or if you're like me, just uh, use, what do you call it, C4s. Here's the thing about the C4 though, you don't want to detonate them. You want to stick them somewhere f a little bit further away from you. So you have plenty of time to quickly aim over somewhere. Like, they will trip it, and then all you have to do is aim over to the spot. Like, take the spawn where he spawned. There's a little cliff, you can run up to the right right there. Go and toss a C4 in the cave. So when someone trips it, just aim over towards the cave. There you go. Anyway, I've been rambling too long. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Peace out, everybody.